Yo, it's your boy Betty, and today we are back with more Boruto T Blue Vortex and the official reaction on Viz. Like I said, and I promised I would be back here doing the official translation. We always, to be honest, do a read through for this. I just sometimes don't go on camera and do it because if the scans tend to be good, I'm like, you know what? We'll stick to those. But either way, this time around, I feel like because we were skipping between those two different versions, we might as well go through it. So we got even the chapter title this time, titled Duty. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So hit the like and subscribe button. And yeah, let's get into some Boruto. It's about to go down, baby. Anyways. So like I said, obviously we already know what's about to go down, but I'm still excited nonetheless, man. So, chapter 14, duty. Okay. So Boris is waking up. You finally come to. Relax, your wounds have been healed. The sealing jutsu cuffs crafted by Amado. No amount of weaving signs will lead to jutsu activation. They even suppress your favorite teleportation. And don't even think about trying to break them. They may be electronic, but they're extremely resistant to impact. You'll just injure your arms. So as you can see, Boruto's woken up. He notices the handcuffs. He's looking back at Konohamaru. Konohamaru is thinking he's slick. But again, I'll have to put respect on the bro because he actually has been coming across a little bit more intelligent. A little bit more switched on. And I wonder if that's because he's been spending time with Shikamaru as his ad advisor. And you got to think, well, that's an interesting position to be advisor Shikamaru. But but I'm guessing, yeah, like Shikamaru is maybe rubbing off, like, rubbing off on him. Anyway, is everyone else okay? And where is the enemy? The enemy's run off. There's no sign of their chakra in or around the village. We lost several comrades this round. But their actual targets, like Sarada and Himawari, are safe. And are, as are the Inoshika Trio trio. And then we go back to Ino being healed by Sakura. Now, I know I didn't speak about this that much. And to be honest, we can talk about it a little bit now. Is how much has Sakura been affected by omnipotence? I'm assuming quite a bit. But obviously, she's been at home with Sarada. I imagine Sarada's been having to preach and preach to sakura so how is sakura feeling what's been happening with her mind obviously it's her husband also being seen as a traitor for aiding boruto and obviously naruto in one of her best friends so and hinata as well right so i'm very curious to see that and i hope we do get some exposition between sarada and sakura i feel like it's important for us to get it you know especially for those who are sarada fans i imagine you guys are probably like listen this is part of a character development what's happening at home i feel the same with him or worrying kawaki like what's the home situation like what does that like relationship look like because ultimately it's been affected heavily by omnipotence we imagine so i'm curious to see how much and what that now looks like i just i'm yeah i just imagine it's going to be quite tense for both parties so i feel like there's some interesting opportunities for storytelling i feel like drama creates great chaos and entertainment so <laughs> so yeah i want to hear more i want to see more i want to hear what you guys think about that as well because yeah again her appearing but not referencing sasuke you know not referencing sarada not referencing hidari it's all quite interesting and uh i wonder if yeah maybe you know this is being saved for a later time where it's going to be a bit more of a i don't know a dramatic uh, moment for us anyways this is incredible He's been healed so completely it's hard to believe. He's been his belly had been run through. He'll be okay then? He hasn't even twitched. Will he wake up? Looks like his chakra flow was disrupted, but no worries. Once I get it going again, he'll eventually come to. Good thing you brought him here. Phew. Nah, him, are you crazy? To be able to heal him like that when he literally was run through. That means you created skin tissue. He created like everything that he needed to be able to rebuild his body. That power is way beyond what we've seen Naruto do. I mean, we've seen Naruto bring Guy back from the verge of death, but this is kind of a similar thing in the sense that, you know, like he was going to die. Inogen was done for. Anyways, back to Boruto. Now, Boruto, let's have a chat. I've got a ton of questions for you. First off, who were those guys who attacked Konoha? 
Why do they want Sarada and Himawari? It started. Boruto's interrogation. It ain't looking good, Kwaki. What's your plan? If Boruto decides to let it to let all the cats out of the bag, I mean there probably isn't anyone loony enough to believe that your positions are flipped, but you did outright lie about Boruto killing the Hokage. I wonder how everyone will react when they find out. I told you not to bring that up, Damon. Quit poking at Kawaki. It won't change anything. No matter what Boruto says, it is still his fault that Lord Seventh disappeared. A dangerous Otsutsuki who could rampage at any moment. That's his true nature. Killing him is the only option. Whether it's now or later. But before that, we need to extract the incel he has. So we're able to deal with those mysterious monsters. I wonder if Mitsuki is hearing this conversation here. Because he's clearly like locked on now. Like he's clearly on side of Boruto. He's clearly doubting Kawaki. And if that's the case, he probably wants to kill Kawaki now. But obviously he's having to protect Kawaki. So it's an interesting position that Mitsuki himself is in. And again, I'm wondering if he's like listening in on this conversation. I'm wondering I wonder if he's he's aware of the interrogation with Boruto. He probably isn't. But he's obviously contemplating life a lot, you know what I mean? What dude's doing a life all day? <laughs> it's crazy. Anyways, divine tree people who possess self-consciousness? Yeah, each one reflects the chakra of a person devoured by the ten tails and turned into a tree. For example, old man Sasuke was the base model for Hidari, who you just fought. I've also seen one called Matsuri, whose base model is Master Moegi. Matsuri. Be careful, Master Konohamre. The one Matsuru is, is eager to devour is you. What? Ten Tails' intended purpose is to devour an Otsutsuki and become a divine tree and put down roots into the ground in order to suck up the planet dry of life and produce a chakra fruit. It knows this in instinctively. But now that they've acquired the intelligence, we should view them as more than a simple beast that acts on impulse. In general, intellectual curiosity seeks experiences that lead to new emotions and knowledge. Namely, information. I suspect that's what they want. Information, huh? That's right, Konohamaru. Listen to Amado. He knows what he's talking about. You're saying that they're trying to gain information by devouring Sarada Imawari in me. Something like that. And the one egg in the morn is their leader, Jura. He's a special case. Unlike the others, he has no prototype. He is a direct incarnation of the tell ten tails. I still think Jigen and Ishiki, by the way. I still feel like his essence is somehow attached to this. Like it's, it's like a reborn version. Do you know what I mean? Because, uh, I mean, they look the same. Even like his sensibilities, his civility, like it all resembles Jigen. It's got to be some sort of correlation there. Anyways, he is a direct incarnation of the Tentels and the one steering this crisis that we're facing right now. In short, if he can defeat Jura, this planet would stop being in danger. Oh, so he did say that because that was what I was curious about. He was basically, because that's what he said in the scans, but then we're making it seem like Boruto was like, if I beat him, the world is saved. But no, he's literally saying, okay. How are you certain? Why do you know these things? How did you figure it out? Answer me, Boruto. Our decision on whether ever to trust you or not depends on it. I have a source, but sorry, I can't reveal his identity. What? He asked me not to, for his own safety. The thing is, I reckon Amado is going to figure it out that it's Koji. Especially now that I'm reading back and seeing that panel of Amado, for some reason, that ellipsis tells me he's going to figure it out like that. Oh, that's Koji. Because surely Amado knew what abilities these guys could like generate, right? So if that's the case, he might think, oh, prescience, 10 directions. Like, that's Koji. Not acceptable. You expect us to believe a traitor's tale without a single ounce of evidence? Back at ya. Most of you want me dead. The only reason I'm still alive is because of my intel, right? Don't you get cocky with us, Renegade. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that they call him Renegade like that. 
whatever or whoever those monsters desire, what we of Konoha must do does not change. Any hostile elements will be eliminated, using all means necessary. Shut up, elder man. Why aren't you dead yet? <laughs> like, legit though. Like, why are you still kicking? Sorry, YouTube, sorry. I mean, in the manga, I don't mean real life. It's not real character. Don't come at me, please. But seriously, though. <laughs> like, come on, man. You, you should have even gone with Danzo, man. Anyways. That includes you, Boruto. Regardless of what you say or don't, know that there is no chance of you leaving that room alive. So given that, speak with caution. Based on your words, we could do at least offer you a painless death. We could at least offer you a painless death. Anyways, tell us Boruto, why ever did you lay a hand on Uzumaki Naruto, the Lord Seventh? All right, I hear you, but Boruto, if you have no intention to kill Kawaki, you need to understand that you'll have to continue taking false blame regarding Naruto, seeing as Ah, so the, the word omnipotence is what's been erased from his mind. That's what it was. Seeing as omnipotence's effect lies with Kawaki, I'd like to avoid making him feel concerned again, which means not exposing what he did quite yet. So you'll need to stay a fugitive. You okay with that? Yeah, that's fine. I wasn't expecting otherwise. See? Okay, that makes a lot more sense. So Shikamaru's forgetting the word omnipotence. That's the issue. That's the problem here. Huh? What exactly is it that lies with Kawaki? And on what basis did I find Boruto trustworthy? So yeah, he's really forgetting. I don't know. And yet somehow, for no logical reason, I am convinced that he is Uzumaki Boruto. I have the memory of deciding to believe that. And that, accepting this premise, leads to everything falling into place. Which means I can't let Boruto die here and now. I didn't kill him. Lord Seventh is alive. His wife too. They're both somewhere safe. What? Of all the things you could say, they're both somewhere safe? And where is that? Why do you need to hide? I'm not telling. And Ada's just watching it all. You drop such a tall tale now. I'm speechless. I just don't I just don't intend to reveal anything to you. I haven't told you a single lie. I see Amado is watching on very curiously. He knows it's Koji. Insolent brat. You seek a painful death. And the thing is, Amado knows the truth. So he's probably figuring out that Kawaki's been lying. Do you know what I mean? That's what those looks like tell me. Now on the second reefer, I'm like, wait a minute. Like Amado is putting all of it together. He's listening to what Boruto's saying. And he's like, nah, this dude's telling the truth. This is all fact whereas everyone else like the elders and ibiki and even konohamaru are finding it all hard to believe but obviously shikamaru he clearly believes it but even his memory is now starting to play tricks on him the name like the word omnipotence is starting to get rid like go away and it's so funny because i remember a couple of chapters ago there was this scan translations where we read it and uh one of the things that boruto said in that was that we've had this conversation multiple times but each time we have it you forget and now it seems like that happens. So even if Amado hears this, obviously Boruto can't say it's omnipotence outright, but I wonder how much of this information they'll be able to retain. Obviously the Shinju stuff, yeah. I guess Naruto being alive, yeah. I guess he hasn't really revealed much about them switching places, like him and Kawaki. So in fact, all of this should still stick, but it's really interesting to see how even Boruto, what he's doing is not revealing the information about omnipotence. And that's what they're finding distrusting about him. You know, I find that really interesting because it kind of highlights the tough position he's in to be able to try and tell him as much information as possible without revealing Koji, without revealing omnipotence, you know, without revealing all of these different cards that he has up his sleeve. Good, good. That's the spirit. We're finally heading in the direction of a real interrogation. Hmm? Boruto? You know, it's me. How's Inogen doing? He's good. Still asleep. But nothing's abnormal. 
sorry, I was just looking over here because sometimes this, you know, it freezes and blah 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 blah. Anyways, still asleep, but nothing's abnormal. That's a relief. I'm glad, truly. Stop beating around the bush. This is about Boruto, right? Yeah, things aren't good. I want to talk to him off the grid again. Can you pull him into the transmission right now? Is that an order, Hokage? You know, I've said this before, but personal use of my transmission jutsu is against regulations. Plus, all all com content is required to be reported. Even our convo now is already a violation of five regulations. I told you, it's a top secret mission. You're the only one I can ask. I'm worried about you, you know. Why do you champion? Oh, I'm worried about you. Why do you champion him so much? I just don't understand it. You know, I get how you feel. You're distrust, but please trust me. I need your help. I'm not ordering you as a Hokage, but as your friend. Call your head, Shikamaru. This can't keep happening. It needs to stop. I'm sorry, but I can't do this anymore. You know, wait, you know, is that because of what's happening to Inogen? I feel that's mainly why she's like pulling away from helping. It's still a bit shocking to me considering they're so close as friends. But again, this is your family, innit? You're probably thinking, you know what, Inogen, this, you ain't about that life and neither am I. Like, I just kind of want to abide by Kwaki's rules, you know, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. But anyways, if Lord Seventh is safe, tell us where he is. If he can't, your claim isn't going to fly and you'll die disgraced as a Hokage killing traitor. Hmm. <laughs> Smashes his head against the table. Lifts it back up. You see, Boruto, I've been itching to pummel the crap out of you for killing Naruto these last three years. It must be nice to have so much free time. <laughs> I love the cockiness, man. Where he gets punched in the face, punched in the gut. Bro's bleeding, and I see some of these coming up Boruto in Twitter, basically being like, "Oh my god, he can never take Asta. Look at how my my brother is bleeding. He's got an Otsutsuki inside him, who brought him back to life. You think he can't regen if he decided to activate Karma? He just chooses not to do it because he could crash out. Now, if he did that against Asta, it's GGs. Let's be real. Anyways, end of discussion. Move on. Now, <laughs> nice glare. Let's see how long it lasts. Ibiki, enough. It's useless. He isn't the type to break under pain. Let's use Venom. Summon Mitsuki. Lord Aeth? I don't think that's wise. Mitsuki has shown strong killing urges towards Boruto. Forget interrogation. Worst case, he may just try to kill Boruto outright the moment he sees his face. That's fine. I'll take the fall. Call him in now. Ada. Hmm. It doesn't look like Boruto's planning to tell them what you did, Kawaki. Well... He seems to be trying to protect your standing in Konoha. What the heck? Why would he do that? I don't get that guy. <laughs> Here, go on in. Mitsuki. Remember, we are Shinobi. And this is a mission. Control your emotions and perform your duty. Understand? So Mitsuki comes in. Konoha really looks back. Boruto looks up. Listen, Mitsuki. Boruto is a material witness. There's a chance he's hiding intel critical to Konoha's safety. Our purpose is to extract that info, so remember, do not kill him. Alright? Mitsuki just looks at Konoha Henry. Hey, Mitsuki. Are you still idiotically searching for your son? Sage mode instantly pushes him straight to the wall. Mitsuki, is that all you have to say? Ungrateful traitor. You fool, stand down. And then there we see the snake coming down, puts in the pin, unlocks the handcuffs, Boruto comes through. Your stuff is in the West Wing security office. There are two guards. Damn it, I warned you, because Ibiki pulls Mitsuki back and Boruto gets free. Just to be clear, I don't see any of you as foes. I'm even okay sharing intel as needed, which I'll decide. And how you use it will be entirely up to you. Wow, Voice is basically saying, listen, I don't need you. I'm sharing intel because I want to. Ultimately, I'm on my lone wolf mission. You guys are nothing to me. And I rate that. I rate that. Because he literally is just trying to help because he wants to help. It's not because you guys... 
mean much to him? I guess they do, but I guess at this point, look, you guys have been trying to kill me for three years. I guess he might feel some type of way about that. I like that, man. I like that energy. Because that's the same energy they're meeting him with. It's like, it's like, okay, listen, you ain't my enemy, but just know who holds all the cards and who has complete control here. He ain't you. So chill out. No way. He slipped away from the cuffs. God, I thought they were supposed to be resistant, even f uh, to high impact. That damn bastard Amado, uh, for wasting such junk on us. Now that makes me think they're going to confront Amado and Shikamaru. Because if Ibuki's thinking that, and then Konohamaru thinks this, which is Mitsuki on lockdown. No, it can't be. Only Ibuki and I and Lord Eighth know the four-digit key code. And besides, Mitsuki has no reason to help Boruto, right? Which makes him think, surely this must have been an order, right? We see, obviously, Shikamaru did slip him the code. Boruto teleports to where his sword is and the jacket. What? Don't feel bad. It's not your fault. This appears off. What? Wait. Hey, stop. Mitsuki. I'm so sorry, Master Konohamri. I lost my call and blew it. It's understandable. Look. Lord Ape sanctioned to this plan. Look. Lord, look, Lord Ape sanctioned this plan. So don't beat yourself up. Yeah, see? He figured it out. What an absolute blunder. You've wasted our own one an opportunity. Ugh, I'm struggling to breathe. <laughs> Sorry. You've wasted our uh, one opportunity to bring him down. My... my uh, God, they're using big words, but... No, I'm, I'm joking. I can read. Chill. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You've wasted our uh, one opportunity to bring him down. My abject apologies. I'll launch a manhunt. The daimyos will be quite unhappy without a doubt. Beware, Shigamaru. There shall be lasting consequences from this. I said, move it. I told you. I just want to talk to him. God, what now? Let them in. Lord Eighth, what was the result of Boruto's interrogation? <sighs> he escaped. Huh? Lord Eighth, we received an emergency call from Lord Conqueror of the Village of the Sand. I'm in the Hokage office. Patch it through directly. It's been a while, Shikamaru. Sorry to bother you. Conqueror, what's going on? Kara's been taken down. His adopted son, Shinki too. What? Shinki's got that tree affliction. Unfortunately, they're both alive. I'll explain more later, but forgive my bluntness. Could you lend us a hand? Damn, that's right. Finally awake. How'd you feel? Ryu. Boom. Fire. Makes a lot more sense though, this chapter. I feel like it was, ugh, firstly, Firstly, shout out to the people that are the fans who try translating. You guys did do a decent job. You know, I just wanted to do this to one, you know, do a reaction for those who basically aren't reading the scans and only read the official. I wanted to also have a bit more of a deep dive and a conversation about what we've kind of been talking about and going through. We're doing the review portion and dissecting. So let's let's get to the review piece and dissect right now. As I said, like, I think this is a great chapter. I said it last time and I'll say it again. Sakura appearing really dope. Seeing the politics develop in the hidden leaf and outside, like bringing the sand village into this, very dope. The fact that Gar has been taken out. Who's gonna be Lex in line now to be the, you know, the the Kazikage? Now that's gonna be quite interesting. And also Shinki, who are you going after now? Or oh, Ryo, this Shinju version with the Rinnegan, like. These pals with the Black Iron Sand abilities, that's going to be crazy, right? Again, the politics, I think, creates a real great opportunity for storytelling. Especially now that we've seen the difficulty that Boruto has, that he's kind of manoeuvring through right now, which is that he doesn't want to reveal the details and omnipotence. We see how much that kind of, you know, ties his arms back, because ultimately, people are holding everything against him and don't believe him because of the omnipotence ability and he can't reveal anything about it because people are just gonna forget anyways just like we've seen Shikamaru forget now like I said at the start of this what I'm really interested in seeing is those conversations Sakura and Sarada I also want to see him and Wari and Kawaki I want to see what those relationships are like post omnipotence because 
that is going to be very entertaining. A lot of drama can come from that. And I feel like it's a missed opportunity if we don't. So hopefully we do get more of an opportunity to deep dive, especially with Mitsuki's character. I feel like there's so much more to explore there with Mitsuki. And now hopefully we'll get an opportunity there with Shinki. Also Ada. I know Ada wants to speak with Boruto. And I did think that maybe Ada would come in and also get an opportunity to speak to Boruto whilst he was held in prison. But the fact that he's, just, he's escaped already, how is that even going to happen because obviously he's going straight to Koji right he ain't gonna take another opportunity like that again right anyways I absolutely love this of course let me know what you guys thought and definitely drop those thoughts down in the comments again apologies for the last um reaction we did for this I was just really ill if you saw my nose sniffling and me I was struggling man I was getting sneeze attacks constantly so if you bared with that I appreciate you nonetheless we brought this one for you guys anyways if you want to see more content like this of course hit the like hit the subscribe button for everyone that has been showing that love I appreciate you and I'll catch you guys in the next one